You're watching the Black Shark 3 disassembly. First, go ahead and remove the SIM tray. Once the SIM tray is removed, we're going to start off by heating up the back plate with either a hairdryer or a heat gun so we can loosen up the adhesive that's holding it down and then we're going to pry it off with the plastic pry tool. Now once you lift up the back plate, there's a cable for the light up logo on the back which is connected to the main board. We need to remove three Phillips screws that are holding down the metal plate that's covering the connector. You have one over here, one here, and one underneath this white sticker. Once the screws are removed, we can lift up this metal plate. And then we can disconnect this cable. So here's a better look at the back plate. You have your light up logo over here underneath this flex cable. And then your magnetic charging port is over here. Now we're gonna disconnect the battery cables, but first there's one cable over here with a green colored head. We have to disconnect that. And then we have access to disconnecting the battery cables. At this point, we need to remove 15 more Phillips screws. Now we're gonna remove this metal plate over here and it has catches on either side. Let's remove this plastic piece on the top left corner. Now we're going to disconnect the front facing camera cable and remove it. Here's your front facing camera. These three cables over here are for your three main cameras. And we have some protective tape over here we need to peel off. and some on this side. Now that their cameras come off, here are your three cameras on the back. This over here is your flex cable for your microphone on top. Just peel that off. This gold piece over here, the rectangle piece, is your microphone. And the hole over here is for the sound to go in. You have one Phillips screw over here holding down the top plastic piece. Let's remove that. Once that's removed, we can lift up and remove this plastic piece. Now we have a couple of cables on top we need to disconnect. And this cable over here is for your earpiece speaker. We also have two wire cables we need to disconnect. One is located here, pop it off, and you have one located on this corner. You can pry off the earpiece speaker, it's held on with adhesive. Now we can pry off the top board which has the SIM card reader over here. So here's your SIM reader. There's an antenna board on the top left that's held down with one Phillips screw. Go ahead and remove that screw. Now lift up and remove that antenna board. Let's peel up this graphite film. There's one wire cable over here. In the corner, just pop that off. At this point, we can lift up and remove the bottom speaker assembly. You 
Here's a better look at the speaker assembly. In order to remove the charger port, we have four cables we need to disconnect. Pull up and peel off the charger port flex cable. Now it's time to disconnect the rest of the wire cables. You have one more antenna board on the bottom left hand corner, which also has your bottom microphone on there. It's held down with one Phillips screw. Let's go ahead and remove that. At this point, we need to flip the phone over, heat the front of the phone and pry off the screen. Now keep in mind, when you're prying your screen off, make sure to keep your pry tool on the further edges of the screen where the black borders are so you don't go too deep and damage the screen underneath and your screen cable is going to be on the bottom right hand corner of your phone there are two Phillips screws over here which need to be removed so you can remove the metal plate that's covering the screen cable Now let's lift up and remove it. At this point we can disconnect the screen cable over here. Let's pop it up. And there's some adhesive underneath the screen cable. So here's your screen. Your fingerprint reader over here is glued to the screen itself, so prying it off is probably going to damage your screen. But the connector is disconnectable over here. There's one Phillips screw here that needs to be removed. Now we're going to remove this cover. Peel off this flex cable. And then you're going to disconnect it from the board. Now we're going to peel off the graphite film. Once that graphite film is removed, you can see your two batteries, which are both 2360 milliamp hour batteries. You got your flex cable over here on top for your sensors. You got one down here for the bottom ones. There's another cable over here leading to your volume keys. Now let's go ahead and flip the phone back over. Now we have three standoff screws we need to remove. You have one here, one here, and one here. Go ahead and remove those. Now we're gonna pull out the headphone jack from the socket. And then we're going to lift up and remove the main board. Here's a better look at your main board. Here's the other side. So removing the shield and copper heat pipe, you can see there's a lot of thermal paste underneath. Same thing with the other side of the board, you have a lot of thermal paste on top of the chips. So finally after we did all this, it's time to put the phone back together.
can flip over your phone, power it on, and you're done. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you guys subscribe and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.